I'm a, I'm a fry, I'm a frying frog. I'm a flying frog. I took a couple screenies of this because it's just downright funny. Hey guys, it's Skydiver Tyler here, and today I'm just playing on my friend Wingsuiter's server. Uh, if you don't know, Wingsuiter is the one, one of them that sent the package to me that I showed in that one video of me opening the Skydiving package, and he plays Minecraft and has his own little server. So I thought I'd just do a bit of recording. This is server is not a vanilla server. It's, it's a mod pack. It uses Feed the Beast. If for all who don't know what Feed the Beast is, it's a mod pack containing about 159 individual mods that make the game super epic. Although apparently it's really laggy right now. And <laughs> I thought I'd do a bit of recording. Um, it's really late at night, so I'm not really in the like most energetic of moods, but. I thought I'd do a bit of recording because it's kind of cool, and pretty much everybody's here. We have me, Chubby Fat Kid, Wingsuiter, and Sage. So, I don't quite know the other, everybody else's real names except for Adam's, which is Wingsuiter's, although I feel it's kind of somewhat improper to use first names, so I don't want to do that. So, we just call him Wing. But other than that, yeah, I've been mining a little bit, trying to get a bunch of different ores that happen to be in this mod. Oh boy, lag spike. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna mine up a little bit, because what the heck. Actually, you know what, I have my own little way, what am I saying? So, I'm gonna try and get up there. Okay, that's not the way. Because I want to go, I want to see the surface, so you guys, I'll cut the recording out, and I'll see you guys there. So, I want to... Oh, it's right here. Oh, that's right, I can fly. What, who am I thinking? Wee. Okay. So, yeah, this mod adds a lot of cool features, such as, like, belts, rings, um, and amulets. And they also add hats. As you can see, I'm wearing the frog hat. So if I if I go like this, oh, um, but if yeah, if you look and you see, look at me, I'm epic. I'm a I'm a I'm a fry I'm a, a frying frog. I'm a flying frog. I took a couple screenies of this because it's just downright funny. But in this mod, there was a t well not mod in this mod pack there are as I said 159 individual mods. So this is my little humble abode here. And most of it's vanilla, except for some of my crops, and that wood you can see in the corner. There's also garages and little bee breeding things. And I have, like, some furnace and smelter... What is it? If you... When you normally smelt an ore, you'll get one of that su supposed ingot. But if you, uh, what is it? If you pulverize it, you'll get two dusts, which each of those dusts can individually be smelted into a, um, an ingot, so you can basically get double for all that you have, which is really nice, because that you, some of these things to build are very expensive, and there are also even hang gliders, so not only can I fly, but I can do a little bit of hang gliding, I'll just put this down right here, and I'll fly up. And I'll go. Wee! No, come on. Oh, huge lag spike. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Look at this. I'm hang gliding. And we Look at this. This is fun. Let's see if I can find Wing. Um. Oh, Sage is here. Oh, Sage and Wing are both in this house. So I'm. I'm gonna land right here. I'm gonna go say hi. I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm gonna go do this, I'm gonna go do that. How do I get off it? Oh, there we go. Okay. So. Oh, they just went. Yeah. Oh, huge lag spike. So, yeah, that's Sage, and you probably saw there's Wing. He's 
got his epic armor on. So he doesn't have a YouTube channel as of yet, but he'd like to start one. So. <laughs> So, there he goes. He, he, yeah. So, I love, I really like them. They're really good friends. Although, I probably know Wing the best because he sent me that package. Although, I'm not saying anything against Sage. And also, Chubby's, Chubby's on. Chubby Fat Kid. He, um, he has his own little house if I go into the map. I might be able to see him. That would be his house right there. But apparently, he's somewhere else. So, this mod also adds a new dimension called the Twilight Forest. Or this mod pack adds a mod that's called the Twilight Forest. But if I go in here, you can see that it's always twilight, and it's just beautiful. Look at this. There are there are different biomes in here too. Most of it is pass. Most of them are passive. Most of the mobs are passive. But there are a few bosses that spawn into here too. If I go down to J and go to the mini map, you can see that there's this corridor right here, which I found out is actually if you place a broken mob spawner, which is one of the new things implemented in Feed the Beast. It, in here, it'll spawn a boss called the, um, Nygar or something? I don't know. That is a boss. But they've already defeated one of those, I believe. So, yeah. And also, there are these trees, which eventually- oh, there's a crafting table right there. That you can find these beehives, and you can breed bees. And, like, they can do pretty much everything for you, eventually. For you, if you, if you get the right kinds. Um... Bear, 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 these are actually boars, kind of close, but they're just like pigs. I don't know if they're hostile or not. Well, actually, no, because I am in survival mode. I'm just flying because I have the wings on. Um, there's also like reindeer. Hey, Bambi. <laughs> there are also magical flowers. I just love this dimension. And I have a waypoint set right here, so I can just go back home. Whenever I want to. That's the awesome thing about this, is that there are waypoints. And also, if you die, you there's a waypoint set where you died. So, you don't have to track down everything you found. Which is rather nice. So, they've also... Okay, that's really cool. <laughs> oh, something, where is that divot? Oh, I see. <sighs> so yeah, apparently we're building lots of withers. That's Wing's house, that's Sage's epic house, and Chubby's house is way over there. And they've they've got it pretty dang epic. Whilst um my my house is I, I am relatively new here, so this is probably this is like my third day on the server. But um I have a pulverizer and a redstone furnace, basic. Um so that's that's about it. I have a generator too that helps me generate the stuffs and things I need to. Here's this weather thing. So that's a weather thing that he made that will send up a bunch of those signals and stop the rain. So I'm gonna have to make, I'm gonna have to fill up the generator again. Maybe I should talk British. That'd be that'd be a feat. But yeah, so that's really awesome. So. So, I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm not ending the video quite yet. I'm just gonna do a few things, and I'll be back. I'm back, and you can kinda see the pulverizer 
crushing the silver ore into some silver dust, which, see, you see pulverized silver, see, each one turns it into two pieces of dust, which each one can also be individually smelted into an individual ingot. Who needs a regular Minecraft, all Minecraft furnace when you can have that? Also, one really cool thing I'd like to show you is Wing Villagers. He has some villagers in jail because he, he did a little coup de t and they attacked when he took when he when he settled this town he took over the villagers took or at least sage did with their houses the hats that i have will all randomly be generated on people on mobs so like and when you kill the mob you get the hat like m the norwegian flag this overdose hat which is really creepy cute little sheepies i will be able to make more sheep and see if any one of them yield me an offspring that has a hat. Baby sheepies. That's cute. Little baby cuties. Okay, I don't think they have any hats, which is okay. See you guys in the next Minecraft episode. Scott Tyler here. And that's about it. See you guys.